Hello and welcome. In this session, we will understand in a very easy and interesting way what is Azure. And before we understand what is Azure, let us first see what is cloud computing. Now imagine you are working on your laptop or on your desktop at your home. So to do any work, you will need some software and some hardware resources, some infrastructure. So let us say you need a machine. It can be a desktop or a laptop or a tablet where you will work. And then you also need some operating system running on that machine. You will need some storage, some space where you will store your work. If you also need space to store your operating system and other files, and then you will need some software or some applications to work with. Even if you are developing new software, you will still need some software or apps that you will use to create new software or applications or just to do your work, you will need some applications. Now, this is when you are working individually at your home. Imagine when we are working in organizations, they also need to manage some servers and some other IT infrastructure. So when you are managing all these resources, all the software and hardware resources and the entire structure infrastructure yourself, you are responsible for buying the infrastructure, you are responsible for maintaining it, upgrading it, troubleshooting it, fixing any issues. When you're doing all that yourself locally, it will be called as on premise computing. So here, this is the reverse of cloud computing. Here we are managing and maintaining all our software and hardware resources and the entire IT infrastructure locally. Now the reverse of on-premise computing is cloud computing. So let us say you say that uh, you need some machine and you don't want to buy a new machine. You say that I will just rent a machine on the internet and I will use it and then I can close it, stop it or remove it whenever I don't use it. So you can get a virtual machine from the internet and work on it. A very good example that I also use is that I have a Mac operating system. I have a laptop with Mac operating system and sometimes for teaching I need a Windows operating system. Now either I can buy a separate laptop with Windows operating system and then I will be responsible for managing and maintaining it and doing all the updates and fixing all the issues. The other thing is the other way is I can just sign up on some cloud service platform like Microsoft Azure or AWS or Google Cloud Platform and then I can use a virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine from there and then I can log in to that virtual machine from my laptop and then use it and whenever I am not using it I can keep it stopped or then if I don't use it I don't need it I can also remove it. So this is an example of using a virtual machine from the internet and then there are other resources like I, I can I, I need some DB I need some extra storage I can take it from the internet or there are all other software applications and different resources that I need I can just use the internet and use these applications and then I can then I don't have to do uh, I don't have to manage it locally I don't have to worry about maintaining it the storage the servers anything I can just use the application and the applications will be managed maintained by the application provider so I don't have to do it anything locally on my system and similarly any infrastructure hardware software resources or any infrastructure I need I can get it from the internet I can use it and don't worry about maintaining it storing it the hardware software things of that particular infrastructure or the resource so this model where we are using the resources from the internet as per our need this is called as cloud computing now we rarely use a pure cloud computing model or a pure on-premise model nowadays we use a mix of it uh, and we don't even realize sometimes that we are using a mix of both these models for example i will be using my own machine or a laptop for the um, for the hardware i will be using my machine but then the software i need i will be taking it from the online from internet the resources I need, maybe some database, maybe some virtual machines or some other infrastructure, I can rent it online. Now, some applications like Gmail is also a cloud service. We may not realize, but this is a cloud service. A uh, Google Docs is a cloud service. So we are using it. We are not worrying about its maintenance. We are not worrying about its storage, the servers, the troubleshooting, the upgrades, etc. We are just using it. On the internet so these are the examples we will learn in a moment about different models of cloud services and the cloud computing services but this is what is 
at a very very in a very very easy words what is cloud computing and what is on premise computing okay now we can understand that cloud computing is the delivering of computing services the software hardware resources like the virtual machines servers storage databases networking etc over the internet or the cloud so when we say the cloud it is over the internet and then we don't have to locally manage or take care of any of these services we use it on the internet and then we don't do any management at our own local premises okay and this is a this model or cloud computing allows users to access the software and hardware resources or the infrastructure on the internet without having to manage them locally and we have different models of cloud computing so one is infrastructure as a service here we are renting the infrastructure like virtual machines then we have another model called platform as a service here we are renting the platform to develop other applications or services like uh, google app engine or microsoft azure app services so this is the entire platform that we can use to create and develop applications and we are not maintaining the platforms at our local premises and then we have software as a service so here we just use the software applications on the internet like google docs gmail etc and we don't manage them locally so for this i have also written a story if you go to my website automation step by step dot com and if you go to the story section so i have some stories written here yes so if i search for cloud computing yes here is a story of cloud computing and you can see here i have explained what is cloud computing okay and then uh, you can see here these are the different models and if i search for another story which is on especially on this cloud services and these models so here you can see we have taken an example of a car so when you own when you have your own car and you own it you are completely responsible for all its maintenance upgrades repairs etc but then otherwise you can also rent a car or lease a car or just take a cab so that will be an example of cloud services and here if i show you this is infrastructure as service here the infrastructure available on the cloud like hardware servers cpus virtual machine we can rent it on the cloud and then we can use it and then you can see a good example of these cloud service providers are amazon aws microsoft azure google compute engine and then we have platform as a service we are, we are using a platform on the internet and these are some examples of platform as a service and then finally we have software as a service so these are examples of software as a service so if you have time you can read this story you will get a good understanding of all these cloud service models or cloud computing models now with this we have a very clear understanding of what is cloud computing now let us come back to what is azure now azure is a cloud platform from microsoft we say cloud computing or we generally say cloud platform because it provides us all the services and you uh, microsoft azure has a lot of services that you can use on the cloud like the compute services including virtual machines and other infrastructure we have storage services we have networking services like virtual network and virtual private networks then we have databases here and then so this is wrong we should be let me correct it okay so i just copied vnet and vpn here as well now i have corrected it uh, i will show you these services in a moment so you will know all these services and then some security and identity services then we have different platforms and tools for development deployment and even for testing and then backup services so there's a complete list of services if you just search for azure services and you will get a list of services you can see this is the directory of azure cloud services so you can see here there is a lot of lists so you can see all these services are here okay so including analytics compute containers databases developer tools storage web 
virtual desktop etc so if i go to compute you can see all these app services are here cloud services virtual machines and then linux virtual machines similarly if i go to let us say storage you can see all these storage backup services if i go to networking you can see all the networking services available or if i go to databases you can see all these databases azure databases mysql databases all this we can use on the cloud using the azure platform and if i go to uh, let us say azure services chart you can get a complete overview so you can see here all the azure services overview so you can see from ai and machine learning to analytics to compute databases development identity and security internet of things management migration networking storage so we have all these services available in microsoft azure platform now don't worry we will be learning about the different services how to use them how to create different things in the coming sessions so we can say that microsoft azure is a cloud platform from microsoft and it provides a variety of services such as virtual machines databases storage and all these are accessible over the internet so we create an account on azure and then there are a lot of free services and then there are some paid services in any case we get some uh, some uh, trial period or some free period that we can use all the services and then there are some services which are free forever and then there are some services for which we can use pay as use model okay so we will learn about all this and there are other cloud service providers as well so we have amazon web services aws microsoft azure google cloud platform ibm cloud oracle cloud alibaba cloud etc so these are all the cloud service providers which provide these cloud computing services so i hope with this we have a good knowledge on what is cloud computing and what is azure in the coming sessions we will get started with azure thank you for watching and never stop learning